Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of the NFL 2K5 franchise here with the Miami Dolphins. Here in season number two we are 1-0 after a big win against division rival Buffalo and now taking on New England and of course Tiki Barber has done for New England what Warwick Dunn has done for Buffalo against us. Our porous rushing defense giving up huge plays. And Tiki Barber is going to take advantage and get seven on the board for New England straight off the bat. Now, here's the throw. Jake Pride going to make the catch from Shane Marino. And now Marino looking, and he's going to try and throw across the middle, and this will be intercepted. And New England will take over. Gus Farratt in the game for New England. He throws the interception. That is Matthews with the pick. So Miami will take over, and it's a deep throw, and Marley Bowman inside the five from Shane Marino and Zach Brader with the finisher, and we will tie the game with how, midway through the first quarter. Now a throw, and that's going to be complete to the tight end, and he will finally be brought down as New England is in striking distance, and right there the strike to the red zone. Now a first and goal. Here's Farratt. He's going to throw this one. It's going to be intercepted by Liam Rogers, and that will come out for a touchback. Now Shane Marino going to drop back, going to throw. He's got Aronde Gadsden for the catch in the first down. Aronde is going to go down with an injury, so we will not see him back in today's game. In fact, he will probably miss the rest of the season. Now Marino going to throw in, Jake Pride going to make the catch. He takes a big hit in the end zone, but it's a touchdown nonetheless, and that will give us the 14-7 lead. Now Marino going to roll out to his left, and he's going to run with it, and that'll be a first down with time running out in the half. Marino going to shovel this one over to Zach Brader, who is going to find room and get near the end zone first and goal. We will let him finish it off, and the big guy with another TD, 21-7, to with the half coming to a close. Farratt going to throw. He's got this one downfield, and that's going to be complete, and he is off to the races. Touchdown. New England cuts the lead in half. It is now just seven points with a minute and a half to go. Now with one second, last chance for Miami. Shane Marino trying to drop that one in on pride, but double coverage will help for the Patriots. Now 21-14 to going into halftime. We lead in passing yards, but their rushing yardage is what's making this one close, but we are killing them in time of possession. Now, I don't know what the heck happened there, but Shane Marino going to throw an interception that doesn't really appear to be that much of his fault. And then Marley Bowman is going to get us back on top by two scores after New England fails to score with that intercepting drive there and now downfield again for Marley Bowman Marley Bowman just burning whatever corner that is and another big catch for Bowman as we are nearing the end of the third quarter now Marino again and this time he's going to get dropped for a sack here in the early goings of the fourth quarter as we will take that field goal from Bill Gramatica and we will go up 24 points, 38-14 in there. And there's another huge play, Gus Farratt throwing the slant route. And that's going to go for six. And that will get New England to 21 points. It's 38-21. They'll go for the onside kick. And Ricky Dudley will pick it up for Miami. Now Miami with the football. It is Shane Marino throwing downfield. He's got Pride wide open and Pride inside the five. Now Marino looking. He's going to roll to his left, and he's going to chuck that one over to Santiago for the touchdown. It'll be a 45-21 game. Now New England back into the groove on the offense as they're inside the red zone here. Farratt going to throw this one to the tight end for the touchdown. 45-28, and New England going for the onside once more. This one takes a bounce, and it'll go into the hands of a Patriot, and they will take over again. However, Farratt going to throw the interception to Josh Gunn, and Josh Gunn will take it to the house. 
for a pick six. We're at 52-28. Farratt going to throw it again, and he's throwing this one right to Hermes Halt for another touchdown pass. Man, he's throwing more touchdown passes to Miami than he's thrown to his own team. 59-28 with 2.07 to play, and Farratt again. This one no good. That will be a turnover on downs. Miami takes over with it. And an interception thrown by Shane Marino. Unnecessary play there. Don't really need to make that throw. And now on another fourth and ten, that will be incomplete. Miami takes over on downs, and Zach Brader going to run it into the end zone. I mean, we did run the ball. They just couldn't stop it. 66-28 to 28 right now, and Hermes Halt is going to end the game with that interception. 105 rating for Shane Marino. Four touchdowns, three interceptions. Could have been four touchdowns, two picks. He really didn't have to throw that last one. Rushing-wise, Brader with 67 on 24 carries. Not his best game, but he did have three touchdowns. Barber only on five runs at 87. 144 for Bowman and two touchdowns. Pride over 100 with a touchdown. Can't be too mad about that. Keyshawn Johnson, Antoine Randall, and Santana Moss were killing us out there. Farratt did have a good receiving core to work with. He just made a lot of mistakes on his own accord. Four sacks for Calvin Pace. This man is just racking up the sacks already in this young season. Two interceptions for Hermes Holt and one for Josh Gunn and one for Matthews. Just an all-out great game for our secondary, to be honest with you. Even though we gave up 28 points, secondary came away with a lot of big plays. So now we will move on and we will take on the undefeated, currently, New York Jets. And we'll take a look at what the New York Jets are boasting. It is much of the same from last season. It is Mark Bolger. It is Thomas Jones. It is... Randy Moss and Mushin Muhammad. Those are daunting offensive players, especially Randy Moss. He killed us in two games last year, and we can't have him do that again. So, do we have what it takes to go up against New York this year? Hopefully we do. Hopefully we have the line that will block Julius Peppers we have the receivers that will beat Darren Woodson. And we have the guys that will lock down Randy Moss as Marino makes a second straight player of the week. Hermes Halt getting in there for the defense as well. Really good to see. I hope you guys will drop a like on your way out. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like the video. Subscribe if you're new. Plenty more of this content coming your way. Thank you.